Well, he certainly has a, a, a very uh, distinct approach to trade, and it's something that he's had a long-standing view on long before he ran for, for president. Uh, I think the rest of the world is uh, paying attention to that. I think the president and the administration is figuring out uh, how they want to proceed, whether it's through the renegotiation of NAFTA, um, whether it's engaging with the Europeans, uh, or whether it's engaging with, with China and other trading partners to try and resolve, in some cases, long-standing trade issues. Uh, different administrations have had different approaches. Um, I was part of another administration that had a somewhat different approach, but certainly some of the underlying concerns about uh, subsidies, about IPR theft, about forced technology transfer. Those are long-standing issues that a number of administrations have been concerned about. Okay, so putting on your trade cap all over again, what advice would you give to President Trump today? <laughs> well, look, I think it, you are, we are most uh, uh, influential vis-a-vis -vis China when we're part of a broad-based coalition of other developed and developing countries. And I think the administration has started to reach out and work with uh, the EU and Japan vis-a-vis -vis China. And I think broadening that out to include other major emerging economies could be helpful as well. Um, I think it's having a carrot and stick approach, we use the WTO quite aggressively. We brought 26 cases uh, before the WTO, 16 of which against China. We won every case that went to, uh, that went to conclusion. Um, and then engaging in some meaningful dialogue about the kinds of changes you want to see in Chinese policy in order to have a more stable and enduring uh, economic relationship. But we have to have a clear idea about what it is we want China to do and make sure that we can put it forward in a way that the Chinese will see that it's in, in their interest as well. Do you think the WTO has been treating the U.S. unfairly as President Trump claims? I think as a general matter, the WTO uh, is something the United States was very much involved in the formulation of it, of the rules underlying it, the processes underlying it. We're an active user of its dispute settlement procedures, and we tend to do very well uh, in those procedures. Having said that, it's not a perfect organization. There is need to update uh, and reform it. And I think one of the fundamental questions that, that the WTO faces is how do we accommodate and bring into the, the global trading system a party like China, which has a very different approach, uh, it's through state capitalism, uh, into a system that's based on an open rules-based uh, dynamic. Uh, it's been a challenge uh, since they joined the WTO and it will continue to be a challenge as we think about reforming it. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.